Hey everybody, I want to share with you one of the easiest pie recipes you'll ever come across. And it is so good on top of it. And you can have a choice of whatever flavor you want. Uh, cherry, lemon, grape, fruit punch, um, whatever flavor that they offer of Kool-Aid that can be your flavor of your pie. This is gonna be black cherry. And after we finish the uh, getting the pie together, I'm gonna talk with you for a few minutes about something that happened um, this week in the family. So anyway, I'm gonna bring the camera on down. And in this bowl, I'm gonna put a container of sweetened condensed milk. It's not evaporated milk. It's the sweetened condensed. And sweetened condensed milk is one of my most favorite things to eat. It's just so good. I try to stay away from it because it's full of calories and all that, but it really is good. So I'm trying to get all of that out. And then we're gonna add a eight ounce container of Cool Whip. And it needs to be thawed. We're just gonna plop that down in there. And then we're gonna just stir it up. which won't take but just a second to get it stirred up. <clears throat> and then we're gonna take our one pack of Kool-Aid, whatever you decide. Like I said, I'm using black cherry and um, I really want to try lemon too. I bet that lemon would be good. And we just put that right on in. And you want to stir this until you don't have red streaks or white streaks, excuse me. Or you probably could leave streaks and make it look a little fancier. And I feel like the taste wouldn't be too far off because you're, you would still have a, a bite with color in it. So anyway, just go ahead and stir this up. And it looks pretty well combined. And then we want to put it in a um, graham cracker crust. And this feels like it's thickening up as I stir it, which will be good um, to pile it on into your crust. But it is. I didn't know it did that. Anyway, I got the graham cracker crust from Food Line. And I have used graham cracker crust from Dollar Tree. And I do not like them because it seems like the crust is so hard that when you try to eat whatever you made, it... Um, 
it's just not enjoyable because your crust is too hard. So the only two things I can think of offhand that I don't like at Dollar Tree are their graham cracker crusts and their Worcestershire sauce. And their Worcestershire shower sauce, in my opinion, is really bad. So now we wanna take our filling and just fill up our crust just as full as we can get it. Since this gets um, firmer, probably we'll be able to put the whole thing in there. Spread it around. If you got the strawberry um, pie filling, uh, excuse me, strawberry Kool-Aid, you can maybe put a few strawberries on here or I could put a few cherries since I'm doing the cherry filling. Just, you know, whatever you want to do to to pretty it up. So this is the pie. I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to get it real nice and cold. And then I'll cut it and we'll see what it tastes like. And I like how you can take these lids and turn them upside down and put them on there like that. So there it is. Just as quick as can be and very good. So I'm gonna sit here, but I'm gonna turn the camera around just a little bit and I'm gonna sit on my chair here that I sit on sometimes if I'm cooking or doing dishes and I get tired. So, anyway, it looks like I'm crooked there. So, what I was going to tell you was that um, Tuesday night about 9.30, my um, back started hurting and I had been leaning over doing a little bit of cutting out on something I was making and I thought, well, maybe it's just hurting because I've been leaning over, but um, it didn't go away and the pain was beyond what I could stand. So I came in uh, the living room where Randy was and I told him, that I needed to go to the emergency room that my back was really killing me. And so he called uh, our son-in-law and our son-in-law uh, came and got him and I and Kaylin and then Kaylin went back with him to his uh, house. It looks like my hair's parted right there and it's bothering me. Anyway, um, so I uh, went in, and I won't go, go through all the detail. You know, they uh, do your blood pressure, your weight, your um, pulse, and all that kind of thing, and they did all that. And then they took me back to a room in the ER and um, had me get in the bed and... Um, not, they did some things like repeating what they had done in the first part when I got there of the blood pressure and that sort of thing. And uh, they could tell I was in lots of pain. So the um, 
and I did have nausea also. So the doctor said he was gonna get me something for nausea and pain, which I felt so happy that he was gonna get that for me and they did and the first dose didn't really help the pain that much, but then when they gave the next dose, it helped a lot. And uh, so they took me for a, a CAT scan, I believe is what it was, MRI or CAT scan, but I think it was CAT scan. It's where you lay on this table and you go through this ring real slow, whichever one that is. And um, I went back to the room. And so after a while, the doctor came and said that they were going to have to do surgery because I had uh, kidney stones in both kidneys. And so, uh, you know, they say having kidney stones is like having a baby. And I never believed it until the other night and that is true. But um, it wasn't until about four o'clock Wednesday. And like I said, I went to the ER about 10, 10, 30 on Tuesday night. So about four o'clock in the evening, uh, Wednesday, they took me back for the surgery, which wasn't bad at all. I was asleep during the whole thing and uh, I wasn't scared or anything. I just did real well and came through it just fine. And um, they have left a stent or a shunt, I think a stent in the right kidney, which they're going to take out in about a week. And they, I was under the impression they were gonna do both sides, but they only did one side, the right side. But I think he said he did go ahead and take a couple rocks out of the left side, maybe to help me with pain management until I get the left side done, I'm not sure. But um, anyway, I go back in about a week and I'll have as an outpatient the left side done and they'll take that stent thing out of the right side. And then, um, I guess I'll be done with that unless they leave a stent in uh, the left side and then I'll have to get that taken out, but hopefully they won't do that. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I spent the night then um, Wednesday night and then I came home about four o'clock yesterday, Thursday. And so I've not been doing a whole lot of stuff, just um, what I need to do. And Holly uh, and Caleb uh, got us something to eat so I wouldn't have to worry about cooking at Autumn. And uh, her husband, Chuck, I'm sure will do something too. And they had taken me to the hospital and all, and they do uh, so much for us. So anyway, that is what has been going on with me. And um, I'm doing great, I feel good. Um, I have really tried earnestly to put a video up every day and then I missed, I think just one day, um, Wednesday, not getting a video put up and that's why, but uh, it's important to me to try to get these put up every day. It's something I want to do and I'm proud to do it. And so I'm trying to do it. So of course there'll be times that something comes up that I can't, but uh, anyway, I thought I would share with you what's uh, been happening. And so the pie will be ready in a few hours after it gets good and cold and uh, I'll cut it and I'll see if Randy will be a taste tester for us. And you have a wonderful night and I will see you back shortly. Hey y'all, I have filmed this last part, the taste test part already, but then for some reason, 
it didn't film it. So uh, I'm just gonna, sh Randy's gonna retaste it and I'll, I will show you here is what the pie looks like. Cut. And all, and it's firm and um, smells really good, looks really good and all that. So now, Randy, come and pretend you haven't tasted this. <laughs> well, I'll taste it again, cause it's good. Mmm. He, uh. It's real good. He really likes it. So, uh, thank you again for mm -hmm. your time and uh, oh, to okay. taste the pie. I'll call you back next time I need another pie tasted. Okay. And, You're good. and uh, I'm sorry about that being messed up, but I don't know what happened. But anyway, I hope that y'all have a good evening and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you soon. Bye bye.